Hey guys, this is Gadgetcheck here and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my Checkrom P5 edition. So let's go ahead and take a look. So this is the lock screen right here, the standard JK stuff. Okay, so first uh, let's start with the toggles. Yes, we have uh, the previous version of uh, ASOP Advanced had seven toggles. Uh, I'm sorry, six toggles. And this one has nine toggles. Don't believe me? Well, just slide your fingers and you can see right there, nine toggles. Most of you guys don't know about this. It's like a hidden feature. It's So I thought I'll make a video and uh, let you guys know that it's there when you need it. So say if you need uh, auto rotation, you can keep it like this and then slide back up. Don't worry, it won't get... Uh, it won't get rearranged again it will stay exactly where you kept it so that's another cool feature about this uh, so that's done and there's the home screen itself this is the new touch 4 it's, uh, so you can actually arrange in alphabetical order right there which the previous one never offered the browser that I've included is obviously the user agent Twitter switcher one right there Android or desktop, whichever one you want. Sorry, I have a very bad camera. It's not a camera actually, it's an iPod touch. Kind of funny. I'm taking an Android video through an iOS device. So next thing, yes, the main intention with which I made this video was to show you guys how the JK app works. Most of you have, uh, most of you I have heard never use the JK app, but might be because you really don't know how to use it so i thought i'll give you guys a video so that you actually come to know how it's used so there is the app itself let's open it up so let's start from the top lock screens so there is jk deluxe or jk aosp deluxe so right now it's on aosp i'll start with glass deluxe so there glass deluxe and as you can see from the lock screen settings uh, the top one, two, three, four, four are not in use, whereas the bottom two are in use, like unlock and camera. So remember the bottom right shortcut. So let me close the device, put it up back again, so you can see there's a glass. So bottom right, camera opens up. See, that's how simple it is in Glass Deluxe. So similar way, all these can function. You just hit it, choose what you want. If you want task manager hit that button and just just hit it so that will be task manager so middle left if you drag your hand task manager opens up simple as that and not in use just hit this capacitive button there if you want you can set is analog or a flash to flashlight toggle or a sound toggle or not in use so it won't come up so the start of the say show aosp deluxe yes that's what we are going to use that's what i use so unlock and camera so you can see there's unlock and there's camera so let's unlock the device say I want on the top the calendar or calculator app okay fine so just hit that close it back again open it up there is a calculator so you don't like that icon what do you do change the icon uh, obviously so let's change it how do you change it open it up capacitive button then uh, no, sorry, sorry, that's the wrong way. Just go there, keep it pressed, and there you go, opens up. So say you want, uh, what do you want? This, no, I have JK somewhere, yeah, there. Open it up, so these many icons, just select any one and done, that's it. So let's go back, I don't need it, so not in use. Again. So that settles the lock screen. Now, lock screen wallpaper. There are three options mainly. Lock screen, home screen, transparent. If you go to the lock screen, you can either select an individual uh, lock screen for the lock screen and your desktop home screen. If you keep it on home screen, then your lock screen will have the same wallpaper as your home screen. There, as you can see, this is my wallpaper screen and this is my home screen. So see. So if I change the screen also, it will be always, it's like a transparent thing. So once that's done, 
uh, let's see another thing transparent as you can see that is what I said earlier transparency means whatever let it be anything any background you have you have to reboot for this remember so I can't show you right now I don't want to reboot you just can try it yourself guys pretty self-explanatory so leave that so I leave it on home screen normally now comes lock screen options okay this is where the fun begins so you have shadow glass you have show clock leading zero on clock I use AOSP clock style which I have used right now so the basic thing is all these things actually are self-explanatory as you can see uh, so just tick it, whichever one you want to be active so I have activated show clock leading zero AOSP center etc 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 whichever one has a green tick is activated so whatever changes you make the changes come into the lock screen options as you can see right there and the next one is miscellaneous CRT on effect CRT off effect though JK has uh, somehow managed to override the standard CRT effect this one has a different okay, look I just switched on so so I'll show you again I don't have switched on no CRT okay I have switched on bam CRT though it's pixelated sometimes it gets pixelated you can't help it that's the way there's functions there it is uh, but generally it doesn't pixelate oh yeah seriously I took a lot of uh, screenshots before doing this video actually to post it on my blog checkrom.com uh, so I guess that's why it's pixelating remember you take a screenshot it pixelates there is no way any def can override that because it's the screen is just huge you can't have something uh, that thin in, pix uh, in pixels uh, elongated that far it will pixelate that is general general technology stuff whatever I don't care it right now so then uh, the another thing which is quite interesting volumes key to skip tracks if you have it ticked if you have it ticked when you uh, are playing music and when your phone is uh, the screen is off you can use the volume rockers to control your music up so you hold and press and hold the top rocker music goes forward press and hold the bottom one music goes backwards simple as that and then you have a uh, volume uh, quick show button uh, show quick button text show carrier label height status uh, status bar clock clock etc so there's a the clock you can hide that just hit that so little bit of the EDT functionality is now built into his theme app itself which is pretty good and then there's a full charge notification I don't have it ticked up so that won't come low battery notification phone app option caption and then confirm shutdown uh, so I know I, I guess you guys know what these do if you if does you don't know what it does just tick mark and find out I'm on a very limited time schedule right now and then come phone option dialogue this is where uh, I've seen in my previous versions people say I had not included extended menu guys because it's controlled by the dual X settings app only if you have this app you can actually get that say right now I have these many app options or in the quick button from uh, whatever I forgot shit I forgot forget that so phone <coughs> option dialog I have power off download recovery reboot and screen capture say I don't want screen capture or recovery and download what happens BAM it suddenly reduces as you can see I only have the data network flight mode reboot power off silent mode and etc only those as you can see right there say I want to include auto brightness auto sync background data bam all these things pop up auto sync auto brightness everything see so most of you guys most of you never knew this could actually be done so this video is dedicated to those guys who don't know how it's done who don't know the actual value of the JK themes app the guy is a genius frankly uh, who, may, who developed this app this is possibly the best app and every SGS owner should have this built in no matter what so I guess that does it and I hope you guys understand a little bit about the JK themes app if you don't 
you know you can ask me always anytime anywhere any place www.checkram.com enter log in register chat with me live yeah you can chat with me live or any of our devs for that matter so this was me giving you a quick run through of the theme setting app uh running checkram v5 yes uh, this is a t side no guys don't kill me there's a lot of things that's supposed to be done right now just a teaser check around b5 there i hope you guys will enjoy my next release so until then see you guys later thanks for watching